We went with the Crucial P5 Plus M2 solid state drive here. And what I really like about Crucial is you can go to their website and make sure that the memory will actually work for your computer. So you go upgrade my computer. This is the Dell G15. Click there. We go to G series. Now we're looking for the G15 5511 gaming laptop. Click that. We want to make sure that we find a compatible SSD. Click here. And you'll see right here we've got the P5 Plus 2 terabyte and this is the one that we bought. The specifications on it. 2 terabyte M2 SSD PCIe 6600 megabyte read 5000 megabyte write. And what's nice about this, it's been tested. You know it will work in your machine. Start off by shutting down the computer. Now we'll go through opening up the laptop. So we've got eight screws to do it. Two here, two here, two here, and two here. You're going to want to pull these two first, and then these two. These four won't come all the way out. They're retained. So you'll hear them click when you get to the end. Simply start separating the case. Right here, we're going to want to unplug our battery first. And we'll see right here, we've got a spot for our other SSD drive. We're going to need our new mount to put the new mount on you're going to slide this up in place and these ears will go underneath these right here just like that and it clips right in place now we just take our m2 drive slide it into the port and attach our screw It doesn't appear that we'll have enough room for this heat sink. I noticed when I opened the package, this thing's labeled only for a desktop. So I'll watch the temperature of this, and if I feel that I need an, a heat sink, I'll buy a lower profile like the one on the hard drive that came with the computer. After this, we just plug our battery back in. and reattach the cover. When we power back on, the system says time of day not set up, please run setup. Just click continue. So if you just click continue and then come into Windows here, but down on the bottom right of the screen, you'll see your date and your time. Right click that click adjust date and time and then click sync now we're updated and we are now correct now press Windows X go to disk management and you'll see that we have a disk that is unallocated at this point right click on disk 1 and then select new simple volume a wizard will open that you can run through to set this up. Click next. You can change the volume size. I'm going to leave it at full capacity. You could set this to a lower amount and make multiple drives with this one hard drive. Choose next. Here you assign the drive a letter. So it defaults to the next available letter or you can choose one of your liking. Then click next. Here you choose how to format your drive. We're going to format it with NTFS allocation unit size is default and here we can choose a name for the volume so this will show up when we're going through file manager we're going to call it 2 terabyte YouTube then select next this will give us a summary of what we've chosen click finish and our drive is now available hopefully this video helped you if you would, you could help me by liking and subscribing this video and sharing it with people that might like it. Thanks for watching.